I want to show you an award. Pete Lopez is a car dealer, and right now his world is crashing down around him. I'm the owner of Spencer Auto Group, which is made up of two dealerships on Main Street, America. Across the country, American car dealerships are closing. After filing for bankruptcy, Chrysler is closing nearly 800 dealerships. General Motors, another 2,000. Thousands of jobs are at stake despite a bailout of 70 billion taxpayer dollars into the embattled companies. And who we see as the bad guy depends on where we sit. And other considerations, some are going to say the companies have been the bad guys. In front of a Senate Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee, dealers defended their reasons for closing dealerships, saying the moves are necessary for recovery. Instead of terminating agreements immediately, we're providing advance notice and wind down agreements to dealers who we could not retain in the network long term. GM executive Fritz Henderson said there are now too many dealerships in the wrong locations, all facing fierce competition than when GM held a dominant position in the car market. Many GM dealers could not earn enough profit to renovate their facilities and retain top-tier sales and service staffs. And for those who could raise capital, it made little business sense for them to invest in a market already saturated with GM dealers. But for Pete Lopez, who stands to lose a shared Chrysler GM dealership, his anxiety increases with the prospect of losing his work, his livelihood, and the economic security of his employees. I, in fact, learned about my Chrysler dealership closure by a friend of mine that called me 9 o'clock one morning while he had the New York Times on his computer. And that's how I found out that we were losing our Chrysler dealership. GM is already making deals to sell some of its other car brands as part of its bankruptcy agreement. General Motors will sell off its Hummer division to a buyer in China. According to reports, Hummer is worth about $500 million. Henderson says the move will save about 3,000 jobs and put GM on a faster track to sell off four of its poorer performing brands. But for hundreds of customers, the downsizing will be an inconvenience. My customers, and I'm a customer there is also, will have to drive an hour to an hour and a half away. Cutbacks, a painful reality for car makers, and especially dealers in the most challenging economic times for the United States since the Great Depression. For Press TV, Colin Campbell, Washington.